exhale slowly and close your eyes. Okay, you can open and you can turn on the lights. All right. I'm going to do this as well as I can with these limitations. <clears throat> this is your brain. <laughs> it is an organ that has 100 billion cells. Each cell is going to connect to 1,000 to 10,000 other cells. You have 100 trillion connections in here. You should all be very happy that number is the only number I know larger than our napkin yet. <laughs> <laughs> this brain has 126 different neurochemicals in it. Very good. Each chemical is produced by some, but not all cells. We know a lot and we know a little about these chemicals. Unlike any other organ, this brain sits in an enclosed, enclosed cavity of bone, which makes it very prone to being well cared for, unless you're going to hit it and jiggle it around. Then you're going to hurt it. When you dig a little around, it often breaks and bleeds in an enclosed cavity, which what gives you subarachnoid hemorrhages and other things that drug addicts will come in with. The field of alternative medicine is going to expand on all the different ways that the brain works. I need the lights off one more time. This is my favorite. Lights off one more time. This is your electrical activity, which we have yet to even address in this conference. All right? The electrical activity is what produces an EEG, is what your vagal nerve stimulator is based on, it is what your deep brain stimulation is based on, it's what ECT does, it is what neurofeedback does. It takes all this activity and it learns to calm it and to focus it and to change it into a healthier state. Okay. You can turn the lights on. The field, <coughs> of, <coughs> lights are the field of alternative medicine is going to expand on all three of these. Remembering that each brain is going to be different. Like a snowflake, there are no two <laughs> that are alike. I don't need my partner. <laughs> and the other thing it will do is it will cross cultures and bring in the way that other people have entered this central nervous system through the acupuncture. Okay. The field of alternative medicine has a deep respect for the mind-body connection, which is where your limbic system, right here, connects to your hypothalamus and goes out into your autonomic nervous system, which controls your heart rate, breathing, stomach, arteries, and then comes back in and talks to your central nervous system. And as your central nervous system becomes unbalanced, so your peripheral nervous system becomes unbalanced. No one has to say, oh, I hope my heart rate goes up when this animal jumps at me. It happens automatically. And as you get more increase in your heart rate, you get more input into your brain, which gives you more increase in your heart rate, which gives you more increase in your brain, which gets more increase in your heart rate. And the field of alternative medicine takes advantage of that and empowers the patient to say, let me teach you how to take a deep breath 
and decrease your heart rate, which will decrease the input into your brain, which will decrease the output, which will decrease the input, which will decrease the output. Thank you very much for your time.